you said you felt like a piece of shit today, and that's why you got all dressed up. I, why do yeah, you? Why I, do you feel like a piece of shit? You're well, not a piece of shit. Uh, thank you. Well, I dropped. I Jack started preschool. Like his preschool is opened. So I've been dropping him off at 9 a.m. every day and picking him up at 2. So I, he's gone. And then, um, you know, I have, like, work and I'm using quotations to do, like, here and there for some things. But I am I I technically don't need a nanny, but, like, I love my nanny, like, family. So I, I want to keep her employed. So she still comes while Jack's in school to hang with Bo. And there's a part of me that's like, I want to play with Bo, but then what is she there for? So like I retreat to my room and like do my work. And then like at the end of the day, like, yeah, I'm with them all afternoon and I'm cooking and I'm cleaning and I'm, you know, I do the laundry and everything like that. But I still, I don't know. I just woke up today feeling like I just feel purposeless, n- purposeless. Ness. And well, I was, I was going to add the nest, <laughs> but I don't think it needs to be there. Um, and I know, I, and again, I don't want to sound like I'm like, self-pity or like I like sound I don't want to sound like a brat I just just how I feel right now and so I put on a dress thinking it would change <laughs> it things <laughs> yeah you're but everyone's having you a have reaction, worth like oh okay and I have worth because I put on clothes other and than. perfume you have perfume on I eat, well yeah because I realized I went swimming yesterday and didn't shower so I don't know what kind of leftover I think you smell, can smell skins chlorine. Is it salt skin. water? Oh, you have chlorine. It's it's salt water, but there still has to be some chlorine in there. Oh, oh really? Salt water? Yes, mm. there has to be a certain level of chlorine just for bacteria for the waste. purposes. Mm. And for people who think we only talk weird at the podcast, I realized we were standing in your kitchen talking about how I wake up every day. You know what I'm gonna say, right? Yeah. <laughs> I wake up every. <laughs> how do you know what I'm gonna say? I wake up every day. And I weigh myself, and then I poop, and then I weigh myself yeah, again. Yeah. Just to see how big the movement was? Yeah. Well, because I told Rob that I weighed myself for the first time in I don't know how long. I never weighed myself, and I was like, I, I put on seven pounds in this quarantine. Yeah. And that's like a lot on a little person, like meaning like, you know, a small female. and Not a little person. Right. Yeah. <laughs> And Rob was like, well, did you do it in the morning? Did you did you first thing in the morning? Did you poop before? And I was like, <laughs> yeah. oh, are these things? Yeah, I think, you, you know, you're supposed to weigh yourself in the morning before you eat, after you poop. After you pee also, yeah, for sure. You're supposed to get yeah. up. I don't, I don't know about you. When I poop, to... I also pee in the bowl, too. You yeah. can poop without peeing? No. That's, like, impossible, right? No, it's like smoking. It's like drinking without smoking cigarettes. You can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's physically impossible to poop without a pee. I thought we were going to go the whole podcast without talking about poop, but... We yeah, I know, we started right No, away. here we are. Well, you know, well let's now dig we in. Don't... Yeah. Well, okay, well, here's here's the thing. I was wondering, because we were talking about how much the poop... like if, Weighs? If, right, how much the poop weighs. I was thinking, so let's say, do different foods equal more poop than other food? So let's say I eat a pound of rice and a pound of chicken. Am I... Because uh, you know a pound of food is not a pound of poop. Well, yeah, your right, body's because, taking some of it. Right. Right. So, like, does does a pound of rice make more poop than a pound of chicken? Ye- yes. You're sure? Yes, because your body-, your body can use more of the chicken. And Correct. and stuff that's more fibrous, I think, goes right through you. So if you had, like, a pound of bran muffins. Oof. Oh, can you imagine? Not only would you kill yourself on the toilet, but you would have way more poop than if you had a, a pound of chicken. Or broccoli. Jack, or Jack had his first stomach ache well, the other day, fibers. and he couldn't articulate what was going on. It was after dinner. He was just started screaming at the top of his lungs and running back and forth. And I took all his clothes off because I didn't know what was going on. Just grabbing <laughs> his stomach and going, rah, rah. And I finally looked at him I'm like, Jack, just try and poop right now. And he pooped like the like an adult male size. <laughs> He should have you should have weighed him before and after. I should have weighed him before yeah, and after. You probably lost a pound. For sure. Now, do those kids when they're that small do do they go on a toilet or do you like Ugh, put them I'm on trying. top of a waste bu- basket or something? No, he still wears diapers. <laughs> Get him on the kitchen trash or something. I, How he, do you he do He has it? nothing to do with the potty. Nothing. But he's what two and a half. Yeah. Uh, I don't know anything about kids. But it was but I'm like sure three. I don't fine. know. Whatever. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, it's quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, there's something that. Me and Lindsay constantly argue about, which is going to be a surprise. Oh. You know, let me, if I can just for once complain about 
my girlfriend. <laughs> but this seems to be coming up a lot, and I and I said I would kind of get your guys' feedback on this. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. Um, and part of me thinks we've already talked about this, but maybe not. But she is a big proponent of farting in front of each other, and I am not. She wants to fart in front of each she other. She wants to. She says it brings people closer. I say it only divides. And I think it's a fundamental difference of... Um, opinion. Now, let me just clarify my we stance. Did talk about What's it. your problem with this? I don't have a problem if you have to, and if or if, or if sometimes okay. in the middle of the night you hear one squeak out, <laughs> and you're like, "That's kind of that's kind of funny and cute." But if she's too lazy to get up and walk into the bathroom and furp in there, then she just wants to do it in front of me. To me, that's laziness, um, and it's it. To me, it's, it, it takes away a little bit of the shroud of like romance, you know? It's behind oh, the, God. Pu pulls behind the curtain a little bit and it's something that's not necessary, I don't think. We did talk about this. Okay. Yes. It's still coming I, up. I, I have it. It's, a, it's been a big pain point. Cutter knows when I fart because usually if I ever fart in front of him, I like had no control over it. Like it just that's like fine. happened. That's fine. Yeah, but. But yeah. I, I start, like he'll be like, did you fart? And I just start hysterical laughing. I can't, I can't lie. I think it's really cute and funny when you have no control over your asshole and then you, and then you let it slip and then you laugh because you're kind of embarrassed. Sure. I think what she wants to do is like have contests or like put oh. a lighter up to there or something and like, you know, gauge how big the flames are. I, I, she has a completely different point of view about mm. it and it's, uh, to her, it's growing closer. And I guess my question is, do you understand or do you feel like it could bring people closer? I mean, I think it could just feel like you can do anything in front of each other. Like, you love me no matter what. Like, you're not turned off by this type of thing. We're humans. This is bodies and how they work. I I think there's... Do you fart in front of her? No. Okay. Well, I get up. I have to, Or I I've, wait until, you know, there's what? like other smells that are masquerading or something. You know, like <laughs> camel flesh. That you could blame it on? Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm cooking garlic or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> Driving by a garbage dump. Cutter has a thing where he loves to tell me that he's got a shit bad. He loves to tell me that it was really bad in there. It. That's different. Which is fine. But if I ever be like, oh my God, I have to go to the bathroom or like, don't come I think I need to go to the bathroom like don't come like he's like oh well, I didn't need to know that and I'm like what the fuck man you wanna you have like front page news every every day about the type of shit you need to take and how long it's like when, and also in the morning when he's like I gotta go to the bathroom it's he's gone for like 30 minutes and I'm left with the kids and it's yeah. very annoying I do enjoy my time on she does them quick you know yes I what do, do my, enjoy time my time for? to me toilet time and shower time are, are moments of clarity in my day where I think you just like to know that you're gonna be left alone like nobody's gonna come sure. in there really and be like yeah. wanna chat well that's it really and I don't I don't wanna drag this out into the whole yeah, pod especially don't. if we've talked about it before but um, I'll take this information back to her and what have uh, you learned i've learned that she's not right yeah <laughs> <laughs> but here's but here's the thing right jamie i love you no matter what but we don't fart in front of each other no yeah because it's just not but i feel like you want to make it like girls should be able to fart and like yeah of course it, it's not like ew you're just it's not a choice you're making where you're like but, but I he's saying really... it is that's I... the difference some okay. some of them are choices. Now some yeah. of them that, are like that. Okay, is that's an individual thing. I'm not yeah. judging her for it. It's not. That's not who I am. I think like, I just don't want to be like, ew, you farted when like you had no. to. No, I think when like when we're recording and there's a red light going outside of the studio, you should do that for when you have to go to the bathroom with mm -hmm. Cutter. So then you don't have to say it, but he knows he knows you're right. pooping. Right. I mm. think that's the way to go about it. Good guess. I don't know why it like, really grosses him out. Speaking of smells, oh God. 90 Day Fiance, I have to talk about for a second. Let's do it. The mom <laughs> is in the kitchen and she has four raw steaks on the counter and Colty comes in and he goes, mmm, <laughs> smells good in here. <laughs> you know how he's like all weird and everything? And Colty. she has four raw steaks. Were they marinated? And you could see the stove on the back. There's nothing on top I'm of sure. the stove. Yeah. There's nothing going. He's just he's so, so awkward. He really seems like he's trying to be somebody on a, I think on he's literally following anything the producers tell him to do. Yeah. 
they're like, they're like lick your lips and tell her you want sex and he's like okay <laughs> you know you know what's funny is that in the last episode um it was uh larissa calls amy and I don't, it was like two she Brazilians does. talking to each other. It's kind of like when somebody did that prank where there were two AIs <laughs> talking to each other and <laughs> yeah, they were just yeah, yeah. saying like complete nonsense but responding to each other. Right. That's what I felt like. Why you callie? Yeah, why you call Because I have the. Let me ask you a question. You see Colty hide his phony? <laughs> yes. Yes, see? <laughs> yeah. It was com- it was just so funny to me. Oh my god, me. I have to watch that. The the most you know how people say like, you know, I guess now even more than ever it's like women and men are the same. And it's like you watch the show and you're like, no, they're not. No, we're not the because same. There there is a thing where they go dress shopping, right? And it's like trying on dresses and what and all of a sudden the sister just starts crying cuz she's not going to be able to go to Moldova for the girl's like second wedding, I guess right. it is or whatever. And she's crying, and she's like, she's like, I'm not gonna be able to see you in your long sleeved white winter dress, just like you. Could you imagine if a dude? By the way, 30 seconds after that, they're drinking champagne like it never happened. Could you mm-hmm. imagine if a dude did that? Like if I was talking about my brother, and I was like, <laughs> like his black cumber bun, and that people would <laughs> think I was having a, a nervous breakdown, okay. and they would ship me off to a hospital with this girl. 30 seconds later. They were like, you know what? Let's just hey, here's to Moldova. What, you what know. would yeah. be an equivalent then for a man that he would get upset about? Or you're saying he wouldn't get upset at all? They're, n- n- it'd be like, sorry, bro, I, I gotta work. Right, totally. No, <laughs> you yeah. know, like it's like a, a what? She's like a long sleeves. <laughs> like who fucking? It's just crazy. I will say, if I ever get married again, I want to wear a long sleeve. Or like if Cutter and I renew our vows, <laughs> I want to wear a long sleeve winter one. Yeah, good I save. Think, I think you have them long sleeve, but you have them tear away. <laughs> So oh, when the, so dramatic. When the dance portion. When the yeah. Yeah. Will you be the one? Oh, will you and Rob tear them off Absolutely. of me? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would rather do that than put the garter belt up. Your oh, leg. that's old. No. <laughs> so wait, we were we were talking about American Idol auditioning and I, and what song you would do, and you were like, ugh, I would never like if Sopranos didn't happen. Right. Why do you have such a like blech about? Oh, th- oh, I think because well, because you know, I like did like an album and like did that kind of stuff for a little while and hated every minute of it. It's just like not who I am. Like it's like, ooh, that's not me. That's not where I excel. Did you know Kasim can sing? No. That's not true. Ka- oh, you're <laughs> such a liar, dude. When we're when well, let we're me yes and yes. Uh, of course I can. I'm not doing improv. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> where you you sing like the guy from Sum Forty One, Blink One Eighty Two. You oh, do really? it. He does it. Yeah. Send me oh, I it. do an impression. Great. Let of me hear it. Guys, you might, have, you might have to move the mic back do you a need little. Background he, he, music? Yells, he yells a little. Bit. Oh, he does. Did I do this in front of you? Oh yeah, a bunch. Yeah, you sing all the time like him. Well, okay, so I yeah, essentially those guys all all those guys boil down to like two lines of mm-hmm. lyrics, and it's it's essentially just and I know. <laughs> I never want to be anywhere without you, girl. <laughs> wow. And I know. <laughs> that's it. All right. That's You're it. going to Hollywood, babe. Uh, yeah, I grew, up, I grew up listening to that Golden music. Golden buzzer, babe. My first ever concert was <laughs> Saves a Day, Sum 41, uh, Newfound Glory, and Face to Face at the Ventura Theater. Mm, yeah, face how about to Face. That? Don't know that one. Yeah, they're a little harder. Mm, oh. Yeah. And when, when he's by the beach, he sings it even louder. Oh. Yeah, like he really. Well, I do he it to embarrass. Heads, huh? I try to embarrass everyone around me. And that's, <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, and that you know, it's hard to do it on the spot and still feel, get the same joy out of it. But I'm sure there's a lot of listeners either turned off or fast forward, hit the 15 second, 30 second no. fast forward. I liked it. It's it's great. Thanks. You're welcome. There's there's one one thing we have to go back to 90 Day Fiance for one second. The dude Asuelo, the dude who um, yes. so he says. That was raking apples. How yeah, many yeah, yeah. apples fell from that tree? Uh, and then he's eating it, and it's just like falling out of his mouth because he. Uh, what is that tree? I, I don't know what's. I think it's an apple tree. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> there was sure. like thousands of apples on the floor. <laughs> uh, he said this week that women's job is easy because right. they have. He said it again. He oh, said he it again, again. He doubled down on it. He said because they have laundry machine and they have dishwasher mm-hmm. and this and he's he's saying how easy 
By the way, he just plays video games all day. That's all this guy does. And he, and he hands out frozen, frozen yogurt. yogurt. Crazy. So, yeah. What the hell, dude? What a loser, what a loser huh, guys? Yeah. <laughs> I least, got a video game review coming at up. At least too. he's handed out frozen yogurt. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, that seems like quite a bit of work. Yeah. Um, so, now, in one of the best scenes of the season... He gets into a fight with Kalani. They're fighting. It's so ridiculous. It's, it, oh, I, is this a guy from Samoa? Yeah. Samoa. He's, yeah, Samoa. Samoa. So he says he, they finally have enough. He, they are on a trip somewhere. He grabs his suitcase and something else. I wish I could remember because it's funny. They're going to L.A. They were, they were in L.A. They live yeah. in Utah. Yeah. And the producer is like, run after this. Because he just walks out. And the kid's following him. So the, the wife has to go grab the kid. He just keeps walking with a suitcase, whatever. Finally, the producers catch up to him. He's standing on a corner in L.A., and there's a bus that's, like, off-duty, you know? <laughs> and, and he's like, how long until you're – and she's like, oh, five minutes. I just have to, like, do whatever. And he gets on with his bag, and, and the producers go, where are you going? Yeah. And he goes, with her. And he points <laughs> at the woman who's driving the bus. He has no clue. Yeah. He has no clue where he's going. What he does just, she do? Uh, she she's a bus driver. She's like, hey, you got a like, dollar, yeah, <laughs> you know, whatever the cost of Have a, a LA bus is. Yeah, he gets on, and you just see the thing. And he drove away. Yeah, drove away. And and the producer's like, are you going to Cal uh, Utah? And he's like, I I don't. He doesn't know. He just gets on a random bus, empty bus, by the way, with a suitcase. With a suitcase, takes off, and he grabs something else. Did they leave this. What a cliffhanger. Yeah, and this is uh, the next. When is the next? Yeah, the next episode hasn't come out yet. I can't fucking. Oh, wow. I can't wait. I, but the cameras aren't with him, so I guess it doesn't really. This dude, it's it's. They might years from now. I'm sure they're like, if you don't get iPhone footage of what you're doing, we're not paying you. Yeah, but I don't even think he would understand what that. Like, I don't think he understands money. I don't think he understands. He's a dim bulb, this guy, for I, sure. I I have a feeling. We might get canceled five years from now for talking about him on the podcast because I think they're gonna find out that. Following him with cameras, <laughs> this was not okay. What do you mean? I, no, just, I don't think he's all. I don't know if he's all there. Oh. Yeah, he could but be. That, well, then that's on his wife. Oh, she's all on, there. It's she on knows everyone. What he signed it's up on for. TLC. Yeah, it's on. It's on. But not I'm just our saying, fault. I'm just. I know. I'm just saying. I don't think. I think he might be a little. I don't want to say it, but yeah, he's like a you know he's like a cute adorable puppy. He's pure mm. at heart. He's got he means well. He just has sometimes. Now he doesn't even he called the, his wife a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> with, with, with sometimes the, those puppies yeah. piss in the I house. I think I think this is all an act. No, oh Jamie, if this guy I is think, acting, no meaning like I think when he acts, <laughs> I think when he's clueless, yeah, he okay, knows, he knows. Yeah, 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 because he's in the back seat of the car, and what he says is. It's easy to control the kids. I could I could watch the two kids. So he's in the backseat of the car with the two kids, and it's the mom and the wife. And he goes, "You're a bitch." <laughs> yeah. And the mom's like, "What?" Like she and the father Samoan. He wants to kill him already. Of course. It is. My dad would clock Cutter if he called me a bitch in front of my dad. Yeah. See. For sure. Well, man, that was reality corner with Rob. <laughs> <laughs> we need we need some music for that. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, reality Corner with Robert and Jamie and Cass nodding along. You have so many different sounds today. Yeah. You're feeling it. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I can tell. You know, so when How you're, you're your sitting fork? next to somebody who looks like your teacher. It's my dress. My <laughs> school, school marm. School marmy. Speaking of apples. Yeah, I, get, I think we should read some emails. Okay. Um, yeah. Because hopefully Who there's there's a there's a lot of them. We've been getting too many actually. Oh, <laughs> so if you guys want to slow down out there, we're a little behind. I, you know what I think? I think people should start sending videos because it'll just be it'll be faster. Well, no, you know, in like a minute. Where to like our Instagram? Where could no? Where could they send the videos? Man, we're to so Bryce? bad at Ask, social media. As pajama pants. Um. Look. Okay. So by the way, if if you're if you've sent us a message on Instagram, um. I'm the one who looks at it, so and I don't do a great job of looking at the messages, but I do go through them. But now, Robert goes through them on our rides home. Um, okay, so yeah, send us uh, messages on Instagram or or video now, and then we will uh, play them, and then maybe you'll get a response from Rob, mm. and then maybe also Jamie once we. Wait, you see, yeah, I mean, like send them my way. 
I, I have nothing to do anymore. I'd actually just right. love Give me to a send purpose. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think it would be cool if we could watch like little videos. You can also send fans them. telling us that it'll be quicker. We'll get yes. a feeling. Yes, and of, we can send you videos back. Yeah, yeah, I want a feeling of who they are instead of like a piece of paper. It'd be nice mm. to see who these people are. This, you know, uh, I will say I'm good. really proud of looking at this stack right we now. We have a solid Remember, we used stack. to have like two or three. Yeah. I are are you Bryce? Sending are you emails. combing through these? Because there are there are some that are like really mean. Gabby, you're there. Are there ones that are really ruthless to us? No, not really. really? Not recently. I feel like there's probably a lot of people that are bare. I don't me. mind if they're ruthless if they're making a point that's bad. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm like, if they're making fun of me and it's true, psh, let me know. Yeah. I'm all about improving myself. Yeah, you fucking suck. We've heard it. We've yeah. heard enough. Like the lady but that says we bitch. say like too much. Yeah. You know, even though that's devastated us as a group. Have and we cut I back enjoy on the likes? that. Probably not. No. We might we might have fucking floored it. No, I yeah, I, I think it's been it's been on the other side of that. But I've also <laughs> caught myself saying um uh a lot more and I don't want to call attention to it because then people are just gonna start paying attention to it. We hey, should listen, just have little happens. pings on our little Wait, do we have to do a tallies? commercial? We should do a commercial before okay. we email. Okay. I don't have balls, but I know not about yet. them and I know that Manscaped makes them smooth and better to look at. They have the lawnmower three point It's the best hygiene tool for the modern man. Um, and they are changing the rooming game with their perfect package 3.0 essentials kit. The kit comes with the new and improved lawnmower, mm -hmm. which is water resistant. It's a cordless body trimmer. They have performance boxer briefs and a travel bag. Yep. Love a job kit. There's also the crop preserver, which is anti-chafing ball deodorant, which ensures your afternoon stroll doesn't end with your balls sticking to your leg. Kasim, you're wearing shorts today. I'm so wearing you, shorts. You, and you if the camera goes down just a little bit, you'll get to see oh, exactly what the, just the, the crop reviver is doing. Well, the crop reviver is the spray on toner for your balls. Yes. It has soothing aloe and witch hazel extracts, gives them a little boost too. And you sub can subscribe to the peak hygiene plan where you'll get replacement blades to refill your lawnmower delivered to your door every three months. You don't even have to remember. It's like they're on top of it for you to be like, hey, it's you need to be, you need to sanitize your situation and change your blade. Yeah, a couple uh, tips of advice, <laughs> tips. Uh, what I would say is <laughs> when you're using the toner and you spray it on, don't put your underwear on right away. Kind of yeah. let them good advice. Let them air out. The other thing is use the Peak Hygiene Plan because um, I've had my Lawnmower 3.0 for I think, what, two months now? Mm -hmm. And it's already getting kind of nasty up mm -hmm. top. You've gone through all the blades? Well, yeah, I just, you know, the I just feel like it could use in the in, especially when it's sitting in my shower. Yes. It gets a little sure. you know, I'm worried that there's there's some bacteria growing on there. So what they can replace they get? it every three months. Three months. So if you want to shave your balls yeah. like Rob and Cass, you get uh go to manscaped.com, promo code PJ Pants, they'll give you twenty percent off and free shipping. Yep. And if you DM us on Instagram, we'll show you I'll show you my balls and Rob will show you his. Hey now. I will not. Um, twenty percent off and free shipping. PJ promo Pants. code PJ Pants Manscaped .com. Thanks for supporting the people that support the show. Well, since we're on the topic of lower regions and men, let's. This first email is perfect. It's titled "Masturbation Techniques." Oh yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah. First off, let me start by saying I started listening to Pajama Pants after Rob was on Bob Memories podcast. Memories podcast, Ripper Magoo, a few months back. I must say, you're my absolute favorite podcast from the real life situations to reality TV discussions and the behind the scenes stuff from The Sopranos. I look forward to each week a new episode comes out. I figured my subject line would have caught your attention. So my question is this. I recently bought a male masturbating sleeve. It's okay. Nothing to really marvel over. Mm. What I do find exciting is watching myself masturbate. It's the most quarantine fuck you can give yourself. Anyone else find Literally. themselves masturbating more often? Thanks, Bob. Look. Yes, I have the biggest crush on Jamie. I thought he was going to say he has the biggest. Pee pee. Yeah. In the land. What is a s masturbating sleeve? Well, I'll tell oh. you because I have a whole box of them and oh. it, I did not buy them. Oh. The fine folks at Fleshlight a few years ago sent me a box of um, pocket, what well, I mean, pocket pussy is what we're, you probably have heard it referred to. It is a tube and there's latex in the shape of a vagina and uh, you insert yourself into it. Oh. And they're machine washable. 
Uh, if you do wash them in your dishwasher, I would just recommend what? not do it if you have roommates that unload it or if you guys split the chores or something like that where one person washes one person unloads. Just maybe wash it in your bathroom. Um, or sensitive taste buds. I would hang it out to dry where you hang your robe. And uh, <laughs> exactly. And uh, they are essentially just soft places to put your penis in. Okay. And you can lube it up. I haven't, I, I just tried it because I had a whole box of them. Mm -hmm. And um, one of them was like an avatar one. So it was blue. And uh, it was kind of like you were fucking the Navi. And um, yeah, they, they are essentially come in all shapes and sizes. Now, what I'll tell you is they have some now that talk to a video. So you can be looking at a video of a girl uh, performing fellatio and the fleshlight or whatever the, the unit is on your penis is doing is doing the suck motion in sync with what's happening on the video. That's where oh we're God. at. That's where we're at in technology. Oh my God. I think that was best of CES uh, 20, 2018. <laughs> I think it was one of the best gadgets of the show. So. Everyone's going to be living like Rob in Jamie like three wanted to years. read emails. Nobody's going to They also to sent do me a dildo. Meet anyone else. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't even gotten it. to the fuck sleeve yet. If I ever get a fuck sleeve, you're just say goodbye. Yeah, I I, th I think they're cool. The cleanup though is yeah, not worth it to me. Yeah. There's got to be something better. If they were disposable fuck sleeves uh or, you know, well, nothing is I don't know if you know. You got nothing but time. Sp Make it. Spunk is is a, a cruel cruel mistress to get out of of, of anything and really. you know jamie they have it they call it the fleshlight because it looks like a flashlight so it's just people just have it lying around and nobody makes a thing of it and when they unscrew it it's a vagina yeah although they're very distinct and it's i mean i've never seen a mag light flashlight that was like this big around so if i saw that on a corner i'm like oh is that mother of pearl colored mag light i mean no it's it's clearly a fuck sleeve wow. yeah but jamie wouldn't know i don't know what this is that's what i'm saying if you had if you had your giant fuck sleeve out, you know maybe i'll bring apartment. one in yeah. maybe i'll bring one of the ones i haven't used in and then i'll let you dig around in it you could watch the video and stick your finger in there and know what it's like for us mm -mm. okay thank you though you're welcome we we you know we try i appreciate it mm -hmm. uh was there a question in there <laughs> <laughs> um how awesome are fuck sleeves yeah i don't yeah, know sorry i think that was basically what he wanted to say. Ten. What, what did he say what, i'm more about the he, traditional he, he talked he basically said nothing to marvel over it's okay and uh anyone else find themselves masturbating more often that was, that a, question. was a question uh no i think in the beginning maybe i just i'm at the point where i just use it to sleep i don't even fucking care anymore yeah i mean not for me no yeah my, I, I, I think, no one leaves me alone. I think other people enjoy their orgasms more than I do at this point. You know how sex just rules the world, and mine is like, okay, can I if I get to sleep? I'm just I've, I've given up. Is yeah. what's going on. I think wow. you've gotten smarter. You're like that uh, Seinfeld episode where George stops having sex and he becomes like a genius. I've never been so happy. I could tell you that. My co-host of my other podcast, Mama said, has the biggest crush on you. She's married with children. However, she has a girl that she wants to set you up with that is very cute. Well, guys, if I come in here next week sounding a lot dumber <laughs> and I'm miserable. Welcome to show, me, Rob. Yeah. I had sex today. Yeah, a girl like Colty. I'll be talking like fucking Larissa when Can't I come in here next wait. episode. Anyone you want to put in front of Rob, picture. I'd like to put my stamp on okay. first. I'll, and I'll, by I'll stamp, I mean I want to kiss her up and down. All right. Well, that's what's Do interesting. you need me to pull it up? Kasim met one of my best friends pat yeah uh a couple weeks ago great guy love pat great guy but so easy to get along with i was happy how you uh acted you were very mature because sometimes you get territorial with me oh and it gets what do uncomfortable you mean I get territorial with you. you don't like you tell me all the time you have no other friends there's three pictures oh, there's just, three pictures <laughs> sorry guys we're looking at we're looking no, at like, pictures of my uh, uh -oh. potential i don't know it could be rude if i'm like Bleh. Okay, I have my opinion about what Rob thinks about I already this. know What do you it? think he's going to say? Poker, I already know. You already saw it? No, I already oh. know what you think I'm going to say, and I know, which makes my level of excitement for this girl not very high. Ugh. Cass, no, right? I think, no, I think she's a very pretty pretty girl. Mm, What's he he's lying. I know it. I, Cass, come on. Just tell him I'm right. I don't think it's Rob's type. Bang! God, come on, baby. Really nice, really nice figure, though. Well, you might be wrong, Cass. That one. I don't know. We'll look after. This is boring for people out there. Okay. But we'll go ahead know. and throw her handle up on <laughs> yeah. on our Instagram. We're not, yeah. we're not blacking her thing out. But uh, what? So, Cass, 
Yeah, you get. You tell me all the time. You're like, you don't have it. When I bring up my other friends, you're like, you don't have any other friends. <laughs> you get, you get very territorial. You well, want to no, be my I'm only friend. I'm always shocked to how many friends you claim to have, and how many of them are your best friends. And I think there's like that's the thing with best friend. You seem to have a lot of Rob best doesn't friends. throw that term around lightly. That's no, right. He I doesn't. don't. And and so when I met uh, Patrick, who's a who's a best friend of Rob's, I I. I get it, and I can understand why he's your best, one of your best friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, I look forward to meeting. I think Rex. Rex is my yeah. Rex has been since day one. But you know? I feel like I don't say best friend a lot. It just digs so deep in you when I say it. You that just you have feel no, like you have I say a lot a of lot. friends, and I got sometimes I forget you're a celebrity and you've met a lot of people and you've had the opportunity to meet a lot of people. But and, Pat and Rex, the the only two I talk about, have been friends since before Sopranos. Yeah. Well, we know what happens when you cross Rob, so I'm sure there's people that were your best friend that aren't anymore, so you've mm -hmm. whittled down that list. Well, I have that, yeah, but, but you know, me and Rex have gotten into fights. Me and Pat got into, we, you know, there's there's fights I come back from, and then there's fights where We've never just... really had a big one. You were just annoyed with me one night after I was drinking, and then I, I, I got sober immediately. But there was zero thought. People think I go to, like, you know, when there's, like, a fight or anything, I think, like, oh, never friends. I never think that. It's just there are times in my life where... People do horrible things. I'm like, why would I put myself through, you know, it's like if somebody steals fucking money from you, it's like, I'm done. I'm, I'm out. There's, yeah. There's no coming back. Like, I know people who are like, yeah, well, they stole money from I'm like, I'm just, I'm done. Or a girlfriend, boyfriend. Like, yeah. if a girl, if a guy ever was like, oh, yeah, I slept with the girl who you were dating. Like, yeah, just peace out. Sure. Yeah. Not that I've ever dated. I mean, like, at the time. Like, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. just certain things where you're like, okay, there's enough people in the world where I don't need yes, shitty friends. Very well said. I like it. You know, did when we talked about our childhood growing up, did you feel it was similar to yours <laughs> when we were talking about me and Pat? Um, in regards to what specifically? I don't know. Uh, I, I, I I do think there was. I always think people on the East Coast have like way better stories because I grew up on the West Coast. I, I think you guys are like, yeah, tellers. one day we were like under the bridge or we we're on top of the Empire State Building and then like <laughs> we were on a boat and you know, then we were underground playing poker, doing cocaine. Like out here, we don't have that. It's like one day we drove to the Hollywood Bowl and back. You know, that's like kind of what we do here. You guys have so much, you don't have to go far, so you you have more time to get like mischievous and have all these activities. We spend most of our time driving to the beach here. Right. You know? Yeah. And Pat doesn't do drugs, by the way. Pat does yeah. not do drugs. and uh, He actually really doesn't. When, when I went through, the only time me and Pat really stopped talking was when I was like really deep in the drug thing because Pat's, it's just not Pat's, you know, Pat's above that. Everyone shit. should have a Pat. Yeah. Everyone oh. should have one less cast and one more Pat. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I like it. That's a t-shirt. Oh, come on, Jamie. <laughs> okay, next email. Hello, Rob, Jamie, and Kasim. I enjoy the podcast. I'm in New Jersey and a huge fan of The Sopranos, and I've been rewatching scenes and episodes these last few months. This question is for Rob. What do you remember from the scene where you tried to commit suicide in the pool? That was a very powerful scene between you and James with tremendous acting. I'm just curious what you remember about that scene in particular. Was it difficult to do? Thanks and stay safe. I actually haven't gotten there yet. I can't wait to see this. Oh. Cass has probably never seen it. Nope. Both yeah. of you have never seen it. Uh, no, because this is not a Sopranos rewatch podcast. I remember this scene. Like, I remember of it. Right, right. Uh, what I remember is it was fucking cold. It was, mm -hmm. the, it was the last day of shooting before we took the winter break. So it was Jersey, probably like December 18th. And I remember people telling me like, oh, in the scene, you were so good. And you really, you felt that, you felt like you were, you were cold and miserable. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, it was it was December eighteenth in New Jersey. It was fucking freezing, and we would I we I would tie a bag over my head with a rubber band around that, and then take a cinder block, throw it into the pool, fall into the pool, and then Jim would come and take me out of the pool, and we'd lay on the side of the fucking like concrete, <laughs> soaking wet, freezing cold, soaking wet. They would yell cut. They take us in the back, and they had like jet engines to dry mm -hmm. us and warm us up until we could just get dry enough so that they could put the clothes back on us and go out and do it again. Mm. And that's what I remember. It was fucking crazy. How many times did you have to, how many takes did you do? I think we came back for like a second day of doing it. We did it a lot. We yeah. did it like as many times as they could get. And then there was like one time where they said to me, hey, uh, will you do it again? We don't need you to do it, but will you do it? Because we might want to try some underwater stuff. I was like, I I'm getting sick. Like I was I was straight up getting sick the second day. Like I was having shivers and stuff. I was like, I would really rather not. So I, I did so you spent a whole day just shooting that one scene. Yeah, yeah. And then and some of an another day. Yeah, oh. because they had to, like I said, we have to jump out, do it, 
Yeah, it was. Uh, it was great. You know, I. That's why they're paying the big great. bucks. It, but it really is like I only have fond memories of all of oh, yeah. all the stuff we've ever done. You know. Yeah, for sure. Um. Okay. Well, this is from London, baby. Hi, guys. I came across the podcast through Talking Sopranos, like many others. This is Austin Powers. I was really intrigued to see what Jamie and Rob were like, having watched them on screen so many times. Watched the whole thing at least seven times. Wows us. Kasim, my guy, you're absolutely hilarious. I have Ooh. never heard of you before this, but I have been laughing about perfect pink nipples for days now. To be serious, you yeah. are all great guys and real people. Rob, it's fascinated, fascinating hearing about your sobriety. Sometimes I worry I take it a little too far with certain things, so please keep talking about it. Jamie, I think of you as being around my age, 22, 24. So it, me too. So it's strange <laughs> to me that you're a mother and a proper grown-up. But you're obviously a great person and a great influence. And not a piece of shit, it says. <laughs> not today. Yeah. Everything Rob says about you must be true, and people want to be more like you, including me. I'm not a fan of people being fanboys and emailing in, but I really feel you guys are just real people having a chat. Have never subscribed to a single podcast before, and now I've got Talking Sopranos and PJP. Cheers, guys. Love from London, Wimbledon, where the tennis is. Julianne. Thanks, Julian. That's a nice email. Thank you. Yeah, nice all the way across nice. the pond. We will always read emails if you love us. Yeah. Note, note that. Yeah, I think, um, look, it's cool to know. A, it's cool to know that we're getting viewers from other podcasts because the shit's working. And then B, it's, yeah. ni it's nice to know that people can um, find the three, find something in the three of us that they like. You yes. Know? I think we each bring something different. 1,000%. You know, I'm the looks and the brains. You know, you're the heart. I'm, I'm the heart. And <laughs> Rob... Uh, is the sense. Yeah. <laughs> is the sense. <laughs> now, that's a wonderful email and cheers to you, sir. Well, you know woman. what? You know what Julian. I think. I think some people have the impression that, like, because they've watched television shows and heard about people not getting along, and this, it's like they think we were put together to do this podcast. Where it's right. like that's not what happened mm -hmm. at all. You know, we chose to. Because I know there's some people who are like, oh, like you know, they want to, uh, but. Also, I guess because especially in the beginning, a lot me and Kasim joked around, so people felt like they had to take a side or like. Well, also too, I literally met Kasim sitting down on a microphone for this podcast. Yeah, yeah, we had only texted, but when yeah. we first talked, it was on the show. Yeah. So people need to know, like we we choose to be here every mm -hmm. week. It's not like NBC mm -hmm. came was like, well, no. we casted a, a podcast and it's you three. It's like we decide we want to do this with each other and we're. We're super pumped about it. And stop yep. making fun of Kasim. Go ahead, Kat. Uh, yeah, thanks. This is <laughs> from Chris. Well, you were so relieved when the person in the email <laughs> said, hey, Kasim, you were like, and it was like, I really like you. You were like, yeah. oh, my God. Oh, yeah. yeah, no. It wasn't acting. It's all, hey, look, I've been on the internet for a long time. I know that it can go either way. This one says, not everyone has a bidet. True. Howdy, everyone. I'm all caught up thanks to mowing lawns all day, but I was thinking, and this is for all three, is there a special guest you'd want to come on? Also, for Rob, you should get a Porsche Taken. Taycan? Taycan? It's the new electric one. You'd shit Spoken. on Kasim's car. You'd probably also shit your pants. And no, the Taken doesn't have a bidet. Sorry, bud. Stay safe. Rock a mask. That's good advice. Peace, Chris. Um, is there a guest you'd want that you... I want Judd Apatow. Oh, really? Oh, that's good. Oh, I love hearing him talk and tell stories. I love his movies. He's from Long Island. I just, I want to be friends with him and his yeah. family. I, they just seem like, and everyone, he keeps working with the same people. I won't talk about it anymore. That's no, but it's answer. true. And and from a comedy point of view, he is such a student of acting. Yes. And um, especially with his, you know, relationship with, like, as a student, um, as a kid, he would just interview comedians. I know. And, uh, and he, and he, I think worked with uh, Larry Sanders mm -hmm. uh, at a young age. I mean, he's just. Yeah, he was super close with Gary Shandling. Super Gary, close. I'm sorry, Gary Shandling with fucking Larry Sanders. Thinking of his show. Um, and and so the guy has been just in love with comedy ever since he was a kid. And I love hearing him on interviews Me and stuff too. because you get you get you gleam so much insight. And he does stand up now. Yeah. And he's funny, so yeah. um, he'd be great. That would be. Mine. What about you, Cass? Who are you, some alien guy? Well, no, I've talked to a lot of those alien guys. Um, you know what? I This may sound stupid, but I, I would love to have Edie Falco on the show. For sure. I think she's the one. Um, 
you know, she's she's the one that to me would be most interesting because she she played your mother, and it would just be so awesome to hear that dynamic. Mm. Um, and she's the only one we can really have that was one of your parents on the show, mm -hmm. and that would be, I think, just very interesting for me to listen to and watch as as a uh, listener or mm. a viewer of the show. Mm -hmm. Well, you're part of the show, so as part of the show, who would who would you want? Like, if it was your your guest, who who gets who gets you excited? Um. You know, I like I like guys like like Neil deGrasse Tyson or guys like where you can just ask questions that you would never know the answer to and then they'll tell you. Yeah. You know, they're like or if it's about aliens in space or like somebody like that, which he which he knows a lot about. I, I like guys that are scientists, um, or like at an astronaut mm -hmm. or somebody who may have had like a strange, you know. I like asking the question, exactly. have you ever seen anything strange out there? You know, very you should vague. get you should get a dude on here like like so I watched those Berkshire yeah UFO saw that one yeah thing you should get some like dude who yeah. says he's been abducted and we should sit here and talk well to look him. that would be so good I may start my own podcast with that oh okay okay yeah he's been saying that for a year so we I better know. we better not take any of his potential guests what well, about you Rob they're so rare I mean you got Dr Drew I, no, know I was just gonna was say I wanted Dr Drew I want and I you know what I want Dr Drew want there's back. so many questions. Yeah. I, or or just I I kind of want us to have a doctor on here because I want to know. Here's what I've been dying. I got about. a lot of stuff. I got this mole. Yeah, it's it's more so. So I thought germs were just germs, right? So if there were germs on something like a dollar bill, if dollar bill's dirty, if you leave it in a drawer for a year and it comes out, it's dirty. But then when I hear about coronavirus and it's like, oh well, it, it the germs yes. go away in ten days or twelve days. What I want to know is how long. Does something have to be not touched for there to be no germs on it? We can Google that. That's what I want to know. I, you know what? I've stopped Googling stuff and I've started writing it down to ask on this podcast because huh. I'm like, I think you can ask me and I'll Google yeah. it. So we're yeah. making you dumber. For yeah, sure. I think uh, I have to read it. I hate well, reading. Well, I think we all, we should all read. We should all read yeah. one. Uh, hey guys, loving the pod so far. I was already a huge fan of everyone, so I was always gonna. What? See, this is why I don't read. Okay, oh, I can read it. <laughs> So, well, oh, so was always going to be a hit with me. My question is for Rob and Kasim. On episode 41, you were all talking about doing mushrooms, and Rob said it's important to wear comfy clothes. To which Kasim replied, yeah, the punctuation is long. To which Kasim replied to him that he put, what? Do you need my help? No. That he put. This was a bad idea. Yeah. That he put him onto, oh, that he put him onto what he was currently wearing, which was joggers that Jamie thought were jeans. Remember? Yes. See, this is why I don't read. I'm fucking terrible. <laughs> I was just wondering. So cute. Uh, Noted. If so you... <laughs> cute. It's so cute when he struggles. <laughs> I was just wondering if you could share. Yeah, I only yes. went to eighth grade, guys. <laughs> I was just wondering if you could share where you bought these from. Where'd you get those pants? No, they were his pants. Oh, where'd oh, you get your pants? You couldn't get for my excellent reading where... The pants I had on, those were a brand called Faraday. They're like a, a, a surf, surfish Cute. brand. But they were, they're really soft, but they look like pants. They did. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I they feel nice. Feel nice on my sack. I feel nice. I feel um, nice. Just wanted to say hi from Pakistan. Whoop! Pakistan. Sorry, I should say it like that, huh? I guess yeah. you're right. That's to. not rude for me to say it like that. You You can get away with that, right? Just want to say hi from Pakistan. Is that racist? That's not racist if I'm just doing the voice, is it? Gabby's giving me a, she's giving me a maybe, okay. Well, I thought you were from Pakistan, so. Ah, uh, no. No? We can take this bit out if it's wrong. <laughs> nope. Just want to say hi from Pakistan. If we're taking this out, if we're taking me. If he just wants to say hi, we're, then we're, put it down. If we're taking that out, we're taking me reading out too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's the difference between me that and doing like a Scottish accent? All or right. Something? Well, hi from Pakistan. All right. Hello. Is that it? Hello. Okay. I, <laughs> <laughs> I am from Pakistan and a big Sopranos fan. I just wanted to tell Jamie that you're my biggest crush. That's it. I love you, Kaiser. His name's love Kaiser. You. This guy also Thank wants you. to know: Do we have any I comfy? Had two crushes today. Any comfy? See, they knew you needed it. They knew you felt like a piece of shit. I did. Wow, universe, you just uh, always deliver. They want to know if we have any comfy recommendations as to comfortable clothes. I don't know. Do you like the things I got you? The outdoor voices. Well, that that hoodie is a very winter. Oh, it is. I'm yeah. Sorry. No, no, no. It's great. It's perfect. When okay. it gets cold here, it's good. I'm just saying, I didn't wear it when it's 90 degrees Was out. Was the t-shirt? T-shirt. I haven't. I have to wash it. I'm washing it. I'm nuts. 
Um, There's this brand called, they make really good pajamas and sheets called Cozy Earth. Cozy Earth. Oh, they actually asked me for your info because the guy that runs it like loves Sopranos and sent me a bunch and it's the softest stuff I've ever worn. Don't he doesn't gotta... want to send any to Casim. He just wants to send something. We, 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 need... we just pretend like I was a guest star or something like a, uh, in My the background. My favorite thing is picture when you guys have old pictures of Rob and I and like somehow <laughs> put Casim in the background yeah, somewhere. That's how I, <laughs> that's how I have to attach myself to this show. We're gonna. So that guy got a free ad, but he cozy better earth. cozy earth. Better come with the come with the scrushola, as they say. Yes. If you could please come with the scrushola, and we would love to. I would also love to try it out. I got I got nice sheets. My sheets are from Muji, the Japanese place. Okay, good. Aussie Farmer is a fan. Good day, guys. Just a shout out to say how much I appreciate the podcast. I'm from Country Victoria, about two hours from Melbourne. It's not Melbourne. It's Melbourne in Australia. I grew up watching The Sopranos in the early 2000s. I can honestly say it helped me get through the worst of times, getting through high school, dealing with bullying, and helped me keep my head up when others tried to bring you down. Funnily enough, I came from a family of chicken farmers and grew up having to bootleg the show as it wasn't accessible to us at the time of airing. My bad. Mm. I even traveled to the U.S. just to see the show locations and do the tour. Oh, cool. I didn't know you could do that. During the, the crazy time of COVID, the show is again a beacon of light for everyone. I'm loving every second of the rewatch podcasts, guest stories, and just the casual shit talking. Keep up the solid work as I believe you are making a difference to some people. Cheers, <laughs> Lee. P.S. It's our, it's our family tradition to start the rewatch, start to rewatch the show every year on Christmas Day. It's my favorite part of the holiday season. Oh, I love that little tradition. That's nice. <laughs> are we doing more emails? Okay. Yeah, we Hi from Belfast. Wow, this is a really international show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me guess. Yeah, big fan of Sopranos. Hey guys, loving the podcast. <laughs> yeah, good, good, good. I, I like see your, your name in here somewhere, guess, and So yeah. just hold on. Yeah, that guy sucks. Get that, get, that, get that guy. I discovered it from Rob's appearance on Talking Sopranos, so I was happy to find <laughs> a ton of podcasts to catch up on. I started from the beginning, so I'm about halfway through to get up to date, but it's definitely brightening up lockdown. You guys have great chemistry. I've never heard of Cassim before listening, and now I'm a huge fan. Just wondering if you guys have ever been to Ireland and what you thought of it, if you did. I feel like the Irish have a lot of stereotypes, live for a drink, etc. and I was wondering what you thought of American stereotypes. Do you think there is truth in them? Do you get offended by them? Keep up the great work. You're so lucky to get to work with your best friends and talk shit, Gabrielle. You're right. Gabriel. You are so lucky. Gabriel, thank you so much for your email, my friend. Uh, yes. Is that your Irish accent? <laughs> no. That is was, that what that was? <laughs> no, that was not Irish. What Gabriel was Gabriel is a, is a Latino name in my head, so I said it like that. That was a Latina accent? Yeah, Gabriel. <laughs> oh, my God. Gabriel. You know, there was there Let was a guy in my or building. Or that was your Belfast accent. <laughs> no, it feels uh, I can't even do. I can't even do an Irish Irish is hard. Hey, shish, shish, shish. We should have my like, friend Alan, our... Alan from Ireland on here. There is a uh, there was a guy when I was growing up who lived in my building. And I think he might have been Cuban. He was something, and he would call me Rover. Like, Rover. Yes, yeah, so he'd be like, "Hey, what's up, Rover?" <laughs> like <laughs> that's, that's how he said my name. That's and I would, so good. And it was always st- like I could still hear it, like being in the lobby of my building oh, and walking yeah. by and hearing him say. It. Oh yeah, the Cubans really do speak very Tony Montana ish. Yeah, you know? and it's so because some people with an accent like that, they'll be like timid, or that he would scream it across the, oh, like yeah. so. Oh you yeah, know, was, oh yeah, I loved it for sure, for sure. Um, American stereotypes. Yes, and what are all true. what are they? Uh, all we true, are loud. Sure. We are fat. We don't give a shit about any other country. We besides, think we're the best. Yes, yes, besides ours. We go to other countries and then we go, oh, look at this cute thing. And it's like the pyramids. <laughs> and it's, you know, the, it's just a lot of trash I'm talking. The opposite. Is I'm this the so biggest humbled. soda you guys got? I'm, when I go to other countries, I feel like, oh, this is better. Yeah. That's how I feel when, sure, I, sure, when sure. I come back to America and I was like, this is Look, just. Look, I've been to not a lot of countries, but I've been to the country I was born in, which was Jordan. And there are parts that are really nice. Mm-hmm. I was pretty happy to come back to the United States. So I don't want to be one of those guys. No. That, you know, but but a lot of the stereotypes, we're in Los Angeles and, and you guys are from New York. So we're on like these two very sort of um, more progressive and, and, and mm-hmm. liberal uh spots but the rest of the country if, if, if you're listening from belfast or australia or london 
everything in between all the big cities like Chicago, Miami, New York, LA, San Francisco, everything in the in between of that is almost dead on stereotypical. A lot of Southern, a lot of fat fatties, a lot of people who, <laughs> a lot this of- This is, Kasim uh, does not speak for the panel. No, 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 I, we've talked, we talked about this before the show. We, no, we, we all, didn't. We're all in agreement. Everyone's fat and fucks their sisters and mothers and they eat fast food all day. Nothing wrong with that. Mountain Dew. If you look at where Mountain Dew is drank in the country, nowhere on the coast, all in the middle. Gabby, can you put something on the bottom that says, yes. this, what does it say? It this says is we only, all agree. Yeah. Put, put, this put a chyron only, that says we all agree. I do not endorse this agree. message. This is beliefs of only Chasm G. Yes. Trump supporting all sister right. fucking we're cutting this McDonald's out. I like eating. the history in the rest of the world that we don't have in America is what I was trying to say. Where yeah. we go to places That's that have been trying to say there too. for thousands of years and tradition. I like tradition and I like culture. Mm -hmm. I do love the fact that America at a one point was a melting pot of all different cultures and, and they were alive and it was interesting to experience them all. But for me, I love to travel because I love to feel like I'm not experiencing an Americanized version of a culture. I like to really immerse myself and experience a different way that people live and to appreciate their architecture and their food and their way of life. And I like air conditioning. There That's you it. go. No, I, I when I go away, what I do miss is like, you know, like, man, my beds, the beds are so much where I feel like here. It's like the beds well, are so much more comfortable. That, yeah, yeah, the comfort. But the thing I love about being away when I've gone away is like, you don't feel that, like, get out of my way, I gotta go to work. Like, anywhere I've ever been, I only feel that in oh, fucking- Oh, have you been to Shanghai? Well, of course I th not. I've never been elbowed so much in my life, just like walking down the street. Really? Oh, it was terrible. Yeah, I've never been to Asia. It was it was very upsetting to me. I may I was not like, know what how to, did I do to anybody? I may not know how to read, but I know Shanghai is in Asia. Very well done. When I wanna feel patriotic, I will put on my MAGA hat, I'll get a big Coca-Cola and I'll watch videos of people in Shanghai trying to get on trains. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that makes me feel good. What, uh, so wait, wait, you were talking about fast food. What is, what's the worst fast food? What's the best fast food? Good question. Best is McDonald's. All, all, you're not like one thing on, you're just saying. You're trying to get that big no, money sponsorship go, in here. I, do, I am. I, uh, because that I, shit is garbage, Jamie. A number two, with both pregnancies, I had a McDonald's cheeseburger and Coke every day of both pregnancies. I love it. I love Pizza Hut. Is that fast food? Yeah, first commercial I ever, the thing that got me into acting was a Pizza Hut commercial. Oh, they God looked at my cheeks. Pizza Hut. I knew my why fat, I loved it. fat cheeks. I, lo like, I used to get, get it in Penn in Station when I'd be pepperoni. taking the, <laughs> the Long Island Railroad back to Long Island after my auditions. My, my tradition was to get my uh, Pizza Hut personal pie and my Coke to sit on the train with. I look more so like a good. human ball of mozzarella. Now you do. You looked perfect. You were adorable. Oh, stop it. Uh, so Worst? Yeah. Uh, I know worst by I don't far. like Burger King. I mean, White Castle is the fucking worst. Oh, I've never had it. Ugh. <sighs> You're yeah. lucky. My dad used to get on. My dad used to be like really into like working out, and he would have like his cheat day, and his cheat day he would get like twelve White Castle burgers. Right, they Sliders. come in suitcases. Yeah, they come yeah. In like cases. yeah, in a little box. Oh, yeah. so disgusting. Does What's In and yours? Out count as fast food? Of course. Yeah. Okay, well that's got to be the a best. Drive that's your favorite. That's got to be the best fast food. I'd say if you're if you're trying to compare like the big chains, I'd say Carl's Jr. is better than that's McDonald's. What says. Yo, of course, the quality is incredible compared to a McDonald's or a Burger King. Burger King feels like they may or may not have somebody that actually works there and the burgers have just been made at some point and you just go in and you pick it up. McDonald's Everything is sucks. super lazy. McDonald's McDon fries are the best. The, everything but else, they, McDonald's. Their they're soft, they're soft drinks are really good. Oh yeah, that, that I used to get they're the, oh yeah, in. oh yeah. I, listen, I'm yeah, fat. Yeah. I used to get the orange high C. Oh, and we, I like filled it. I used to get the 64. Oh my God. 64 ounce orange high C with a, with a crispy chicken sandwich and some yeah. fries. But by the way, my favorite Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Bomb. Wendy's was good. They, there was a, the nuggets. The nuggets there at, at Wendy's are great. Yeah. But, but you, I can't say In N Out. I love In N Out's burgers, but the fries suck. 
Agree. Oh, mm, they're I terrible. Don't know. I like them. I've grown to like them. They're I've like the rotten lo- part of the potato that was like really limp and not. You know who loves my sweet potato I fries? Agree. I love Rob you. Made like veggies dying. last time I was there. Rob was really. I was made me feel so good that Rob went back for like thirds of my roasted vegetables the other day. I had your roasted vegetables when I, I made, was at your I'm, place. I've even gotten better. Yeah, well, What'd they were say? incredible then. He's trying to steal my thunder. It's about me, Cass. No, this whole podcast is about you. Okay, it's not. I want my time. I want my time. You could have come, by the way. How about the cats have texted us that morning, being like, "What time should I come over? Should yeah, I, I pick up Rob?" And like five minutes later, he's like, "Sorry, can't come." Yeah. No, if you look at the order of the text, what happened is you said Bo has a fever. It oh. might be Corona, and then Casim <laughs> bailed out. No, I could see why you would think that. That's what I happened. I have. I felt like I had to tell people that he had a little bit of a fever. My three younger cousins are visiting. Oh, they, they were suddenly in town at 9.54 <laughs> when they were the in at 9.46? They come the day before. Dude, you're full of shit. It See, was this a bit, is... Should I read the series of texts? We don't have because... to. We got another email. Yeah. Go ahead, read it while I pull it up. You could do it. Oh, this one's so long. Oh, there's pictures there. I think it's James Gandolfini. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, this one's from William. It says, hey, guys, just found out about y'all's podcast a week ago. Oh, he must be from the center of the United States. And I've already binged the first 20 episodes. I never actually write in a podcast, but I can without a doubt say in my mind that the Pajama Pants podcast is definitely my favorite, and I could tell it was going to be from the very first episode. I live in Plainview. Woo! Hey, New Jersey. Is that New Jersey? Long Island. Long Island. That's where my parents are. And it was so fucking crazy when Jamie mentioned going to the Bagel Boss at night because my friends and I do that all the time. I watched The Sopranos for the first time when I was 15, six years ago, and I fell in love with it so fast. I also used to watch Casim a good nine years ago, so it feels like worlds are colliding for me. I also just wanted to share with you guys that my great aunt had met James Gandolfini, My cousin was a principal of the school that his son went to, and she would always tell him about my aunt and how she was 90, Italian, and was blind and still cooked all of her food by herself. I don't really know how they ended up meeting because I was so young at the time, but here's a picture. There's a picture. There's a picture. uh, Jim and the grandma. Yeah, it looks like Jim's yelling at her. He's probably like, your food sucks. Yeah. (laughs) Have somebody else make it. Um, also, just a quick question. Is there anything you guys don't like about living in L.A.? I'm thinking about going to grad school near L.A., even though I've lived in Long Island my entire life. Anyways, I just wanted to say that I hope you guys continue to do the podcast for a long time because I think the three of you have such great and interesting chemistry. Keep up that good shit, Will. P.S. I know this is 20 episodes late, but I agree with Rob. It's not weird to stand and wipe. My friends and I have had the we've same come, debate. We've come so far. We have come so far with that. There's huge evolution in the show where... We well, don't even talk about poop anymore. We've talked about uh, what we don't like about LA, but it, it was more because you guys have lived in another place most of your lives, and you had to come here, so it was, it was easy to mention things like the traffic, you know, mm-hmm. and having to drive somewhere instead of having to walk. It's expensive. It's expensive. Um, there are things that I don't like about LA, but I think there are things that I've just kind of learned to live with. And um, I don't like the fact that uh, I don't like the fact that it's. I guess this this falls under traffic, where if somebody can be five miles away, but it can take thirty minutes to get there. Um, and I also feel like there is too much. Um, man, how am I going to say this without sounding super racist? Oh, you don't mind being racist against white people in middle America, but now you might be racist against somebody else. See, this is the bullshit. This is the Kasim bullshit. This is what you're seeing right now, everybody. It's called, the, the name of this show, the title should be The Kasim Bullshit. No. It's okay that. to be racist against Whitey, in. but now there's somebody else you're going to be racist against. Look how so angry we gotta, he's we got to pump the brakes. Well, because I hear it the whole way here. Fucking white people this, <laughs> white people that. Horse That's shit. That's not true. That's a lie. That's how this guy. All I do is praise Whitey. Go on. What do you? What do you? What are you so scared to say, Cass? Meanwhile, this dude will say fucking anything under the sun, <laughs> no, and all of a sudden, true. the one time he pumps the brakes, go ahead, Cass. Oh God, <laughs> it's unreal. It really is. So, I mean, it's just so. No. 
such this dude's such a pander. No, I'm going to talk about what I love, and I love how there's this is a melting pot, and everyone's different. And, and <laughs> I'm going to read the text messages. Okay? Yeah, it's at nine, fucking outcast. What I, I, bullshit. 40, what I love about it. Nine forty three on Saturday. The someone 4th. forced us to do this podcast together. It was Jamie, bright. this is from Cassim. Jamie, what time is your party? Not a party. It was just Rob and Cassim coming over. By hey, the way. that's a party. Ask I write the people back listening. at. 9.44. I responded very lame right away. Hey, anytime. However. What's lame about being responsive, by oh, the way? Can we get getting, rid of that stigma? I why are you getting so mad, with you. Hey, anytime. However, I just texted Rob. Bo had a fever last night. He's totally fine today. Jamie, I think we should go to Al-Anon. <laughs> to, to continue dealing with that Kassim. Support him. It's really, it's really just, it's weighing on me. Uh, I understand. <laughs> Okay, I said, he's totally fine today, like completely, but I have to be responsible and let you know. We called his pediatrician, and he said not to stress because it only lasted a few hours. Kasim wrote, okay, Rob, what you thinking, honey? I can scoop you. What? I didn't say that. It's right here. We'll screenshot. We'll screenshot shit. You're fucking shit. embarrassing me, say? Jamie. Let's screenshot, and it's spelled H-U-N-N-Y. <laughs> he wrote, I can scoop you. I said, come any time. We also have... We my manager my manager why are you adding why are you adding skew my manager who is again those shorts are so short <laughs> can we get a shot of get some shorts over here we're seeing half we're seeing 90 percent of his That's leg what he said if the leg went down you could see the manscape my situation. my manager is a gay gentleman who believes Kasim is also a gay gentleman oh Oh, that's new. That's just, a whole show. Yeah. Why didn't we start with that? I was waiting for him to wear those shorts to, to reveal uh, it. Oh, well. Should I finish this text chain? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Sorry. By the way, if you're no. listening to this, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Of course not. Again, this is now only 9.45, all these texts are. I said, but come anytime. We have plenty of everything, <laughs> so no need to bring a thing. Kasim said, okay, but do you like White Claw? I said, ha ha, Cutter does. This, okay, so I said, ha ha, Cutter is 9.46. 10 11. Okay. My younger cousins are in town and I think I need to hang with them. Let me sort them out. Their dad won't let me bring them to parties. Slash Rob, maybe you can still zip car and I'll check in with you guys later. 25 minutes. I wrote, okay, babe, let us know. We're here all day. Rob goes, yeah. Hey, I'm just going to zip car. You had no time for that bullshit. No, of course. And I know, <laughs> listen, <laughs> Kasim's family to get over here, it's like an 18 hour flight. So you know, <laughs> you know they didn't just pop in in 25 Fuck minutes. No. It's impossible. Oh, whoops, I totally forgot these four yeah. people sitting in front of me wanted you know, to hang out. We shit on Kasim's girlfriend a lot in this podcast, and I'm starting to think. By the way, my thought exactly. Yeah. When I read that text, I was like, oh, is this what Lindsay deals with? I was just 20 minutes ago. I was saying, stop making fun of Kasim. I think, I think it's not enough. <laughs> I think it's not enough. Uh -oh. I hope moving We've gone forward. Too far. This is what We've happened. He went, he went after forward. white America. <laughs> God sure. damn it. What do you have a problem with Mountain Dew? Yeah. I saw what if they want to a documentary us? where a guy drank like three 72 ounce Mountain Dews every day and he had one tooth. Had one oh, I thought tooth. you were going to say he made a tank and drove through a town knocking down all the buildings. No, that's a movie tread, which I did watch last night. You mm. told me about Look, that on the I'm radio. okay, dude. Go ahead and rag on me. It's fine, <laughs> dude. I'm fucking easy breezy. Oh, all right. Goodness. I'm fucking cool. I'm a cool guy. I fucking it's cool. Everyone everyone likes me. Everyone likes me. How did we get how did we get to this point? How do we I don't know. No, I, you I'm, just you I'm, hit a rhythm and then you kept going and it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay? I uh, I, I understand. Your your white nationalism has come out. How dare you? Yeah, yeah, Jamie, yeah. how inclusive am I? Uh, the most. The most. Hey, Cass, can the you most. come over? Help me put up my cross for 4th of July. Help me put a cross on my Oh, now you have fire. something against Catholics? Yeah. <laughs> we Possibly. need to end this episode oh, no. now before it, Kassim gets blacklisted from this country. Yeah, we're going to have for, eight views on our no next. No one's going to watch it anymore. You've offended everyone, Kassim. I Again, hope you're happy. We do not endorse... Kasim's messages. Is it, is it racist to do a Pakistani accent? We're no, going to find you, out. For it's you, not. no. For me, yes. That's the, well, that's the law. That, no, that's racist that you would say that for you it would be and for me it wouldn't be because you're assuming because I have brown skin that it's I less... I have to pick up Jack from preschool. <laughs> Jamie, you're, you're, you're just trying... Okay, guys. If you made it this far, you love us. We love you. Yeah, Go ahead and hit delete. For sure. Hit delete on this episode. <laughs> we, love, we love everybody. 
everybody's hey, thanks uh, for watching if you're watching on youtube hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you are up to date on when our new shows drop every tuesday on youtube and every monday on itunes or wherever spotify or wherever you get are we on spotify i learned a lot today this is a great cliffhanger will we be back next week <laughs> Uh, look, I'm I'm gonna start my own podcast. What'd you look? Oh yeah, you've been threatening that since I met you five years ago. And, Good uh, luck, pal. And guess yeah, what? We're not he, gonna talk every about every time the he comes Sopranos. in here. Oh, what kind of mic is that? Uh, for when I start my own podcast, they, what kind of what kind of camera is that? Cast hasn't done shit. Uh, you know, I'm thinking guess about. What? I, think, I already I'm have about, the setup. I'm thinking about getting back to you. What do you think about Sasquatch? <laughs> What did you learn today, Jamie? Uh, yeah, you were saying, yeah. you were saying I learned you about masturbation hey, for those sleeves. Who, this is the real Rob coming out. I learned um, <laughs> Aryan where Brotherhood Cassim's white heart nationalist. Really is. How dare you? I learned. Um, I just. I Why learned, are you gyrating? Because uh, I'm. She's just thinking about that fuck thinking. sleeve. This is how I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and maybe if there is another episode, I'll bring I'll bring my fuck sleeve to the next podcast. Oh, yeah. Huh. Well. I'm, I got a review of uh, Last Last of Us thanks Part for, Two and the listening. movie tread coming thanks up for next listening, episode. Everybody.